The SURF innovation team is active in several artificial intelligence projects. And just recently, we worked together with Intel and CERN for a project on doing large simulations much faster. Valerio, you work as team leader, high performance machine learning in this project. Can you tell us more about the cooperation? Yes, thank you, uh, Ron. So uh, this is a, a long-standing cooperation between uh, Intel and Surf Sara, couldn't be Surf, that started in 2017 by Surf becoming an Intel Parallel Computing Center. Uh, our focus in that collaboration was and still is on scaling out artificial intelligence processes on large-scale supercomputers. This allows researchers to use systems that are prevalent in most data centers as opposed to graphics processing units based systems um, what will uh, our members uh, notice of this uh, so um, as we have observed in the uh, collaboration joint collaboration between us and inter and several other parties uh, we observed that by integrating artificial intelligence processes inside their traditional simulations or to replace their traditional simulations, they could get orders of magnitude faster performance than they would normally have. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more how this would work? Because you still have huge amounts of data, right? Yes, yes, that's a very good question. So uh, this would work by first of all training an AI system on these uh, gigantic sometimes amounts of data. And the training process is the process we want to have very scalable. Because that one you technically do only once. After you get the trained model, you go into the direction that we went with CERN to exploit the uh, intricacies of modern processors and use that trained model in production. Okay. So by using this trained modeling, even though the amounts of data are huge, you could still use more simple CPUs eh, to do the calculations for you. Yeah. Will uh, CERN actually, because uh, this was a project, will CERN use this in the future for doing their uh, uh, Monte Carlo simulations going, going further? Yes, uh, currently we are uh, working on improving the, uh, not the performance, because the computational performance is already very quick, but the accuracy of their models, where when the accuracy of their models will be on par with the traditional Monte Carlo simulation, for some processes it is, but not in a general way, they want to use this uh, technology to model their, or to simulate their new detectors. Uh, mm -hmm. Currently, uh, CERN for Monte Carlo simulations uses half of the worldwide large hadron computing grid. So uh, this is an enormous amount of compute they uh, need. Uh, with the, uh, as a result of this collaboration, we managed to improve the Monte Carlo simulation by almost five orders of magnitude. So they would be able to uh, model their future detectors that would normally need much more compute than today. Yeah. So this could be interesting for everybody who's currently managing a large research center that typically would perhaps specialize eh, to get uh, GPUs or other processors to do these large simulations. And with this project, you could also perhaps decide to stay more on the generic uh, layer and generic processors to do your simulations on. Because if you would, would like to go uh, along these lines, but you have AMD processors instead of Intel processors, could you still use the, let's say, outcome of your project to go further? Yes, uh, in this case, uh, switching from Intel to AMD is possible because they have the same uh, instruction set. So uh, in the end, you could as well uh, execute the same processes on AMD hardware. Could you tell us uh, um, on, on why this, this algorithm works so much better, let's say using normal machinery? Uh, sometimes uh, when using GPUs, you are uh, very much constrained by the memory capacity of, of these uh, accelerators. With CPUs uh, that have, yeah, that are normal machinery, you are not uh, as much constrained. You can have terabyte uh, memories on uh, CPU-based nodes. 
Okay, so you can use cheaper machinery to do more complex research. That's basically the outcome of this project. So um, sounds, let's say, pretty important to uh, to us. Uh, and thanks for your clarification. It's uh, it's good to see that we're working with the market on the best artificial intelligence solutions uh, for our members, together with large data data suppliers like CERN. So thanks, Valerio. Um, really uh, appreciate the uh, uh, the background you could give on this. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Thank you very much.